Right, so I'm down here in the end of the dam for a quick little afternoon session. I left home about five, ten minutes ago and there was not a breath of wind. That's why I came down and all of a sudden the wind is, the wind is pumping. But what I'm doing is I want to test these lures out. This sensation has come out of the brand new range of lures. Um, these things are incredible. Eh? Some of the nicest lures I've ever seen. Eh? Um, if you have a look at them, they're incredibly lifelike. Can't wait to get these to the harbour and things like that. But in the meantime, I'm going to give them a try down here at the at the dam. A little jointed swimmer, um, magic jerk SD3, uh, another little jointed jerk swimmer. Well, that one they call it. Yeah, another little one. There's there's a whole massive variety of these things. Um, you guys need to check them out in the shops. They are unbelievable. They're really, really awesome looking lures. So I'm going to give them a try now and see um, uh, what it's like here at the dam. So let's go and give it a few casts. As I say, the wind is all of a sudden just came up. So I've come around to the corner where there's less wind, but um, it's not going to be as easy. But let's give it a try. Going to test these lures and uh, really looking forward to it. Beautiful. So I'm gonna throw them today on a little uh, spinning outfit. Um, highly recommended for a little lures, like especially little jerk baits and that. But if you've got a little jerk bait rod um, and you've got a decent quality bait caster, um, you can throw most of these lures on the bait caster as well. But I'd recommend a little um, uh, spinning outfit and uh, see how it goes from there. Right. right, so I'm going to start off with this little one. This is called Crush Scale Colour. Um, as I said, I think there's about eight different colours. But I'm going to start off with this little one here. See how it goes. Cast far enough. A lot of weed here, which is not ideal. Hoping to get a bit around that corner there, but this wind is terrible. Just working it. It just sits subsurface, this thing, which is perfect. Yeah. Oh, something went for it. <laughs> Little guy. Oh, the action is incredible. Phenomenal little wobbling action there, even with the pile of dirt I caught. Get that dirt off there. Came off right just on the edge of the grass there. It'll be pretty accurate. Your cast, yeah. Dam levels just dropping and dropping. Oh! <laughs> I hope you guys saw that. Knocked it right out the water there. Right, so I'm going into the the wind now. Uh, let's see, sometimes where the windy areas are, that's where the fish bite the most. But so far, and one little thing attack it, and that's it. Stuck. It didn't stay stuck. Like it. It's fish enough to find a way to get to this thing to the harbour. Man. Right. 
see them in the grass here. Yeah, they're, they're sitting right inside the grass, these bass. So it's going to be easy to get them on, on a little joke right there. It's got a little hook stuck like this. So, on the edge there. Gonna have to keep on walking around. This like brown stuff is dead. Oh, missed him. Dead algae. I'll have to bring these a little crankbait or a little uh, barb bait that they make. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's good, it's good, it's good. I like it. I'm not forcing that because this is like really finesse tough. Uh, small little hooks in here. Those the bigger one would be easier. Definitely worthwhile getting something like this in your arsenal. I love this light stuff, small fishing. Oh, there we go, there we go. There we go. I really like it. Almost as much as I like it. This is kind of one of those lures that you, you know, just stick in your mantelpiece at home or on your computer or something. They're so nice, they look so good. Obviously, look good to the fish too because. I thought that would be here in the wind. Keep on going. You gotta be very really accurate with your casting here because you gotta get it just on the edge of that cross. Very small hooks in here. Very small hooks. This is something you want to get for a finesse rod. I like it because it looks just like a little bite fish. I might experiment a bit with the slightly bigger hooks on here. Just to see what would happen. Right, I'm gonna cut and then I'm gonna start again. So I'm here around the bend a bit, and what I've gone for is the same colour, crushed scale. So this is the glide swimmer. So let's see, it's a slightly bigger one, it's got bigger hooks on. Might go a bit deeper, which is I'm worried about because I don't want to catch these, these um, what's his name, the weeds here. This one's got a lot more. 
action to it. Let's see. That is quite a bit deeper than the other one. Check, 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 check. The other one they laughed. Uh, those fish really loved that thing. Oh dear. Casting skills aren't too good with this. I actually need to go, I want to go around that side more though, into the corner. So here we go down there. The action on this thing is phenomenal. Yeah. I want to go and throw this thing in the bay. This one does dive a lot deeper, so it wouldn't have worked there at the other spot. Make sure my car is closed. very big still a small bait but yeah it is it is so realistic eh? it's just incredible this little bait so I'm gonna give this a try and then I'll go back and pick up one of the other ones there's also a big jerk bait suspending jerk bait oops Little one definitely they enjoyed it. I should have brought it with me. I haven't got too much time. Yeah, the action on this thing is beautiful. Let's go past the ah let's not go past the thing, the wind is so bad. Alright, the next little guy. It's this little guy. To me, and it's called a natural. To me this looks like a little red eye sardine and this is one of them I can't wait to get in the bay. So here we go. Let's see if the smaller profile baits make a difference here. Yeah? If the little crush scale was the ultimate one. Definitely not oh, throws a little bit better and I catch a lot of weeds on the first cast. So I can't call that a first cast because that was a waste. That was a waste of a cast. Easier to cast than the, than the bigger one. Oh, there we go. What? Oh, <laughs> you see, that's what they're doing. They're feeding on the smaller profile baits. So, this is like the bait fish that are in here. I mean, that's instant. That was instant. Let's go back there again and see. Enough to go through my finger. Hang on, dude. I'll let you go. Monster. See, instantly with the smaller profile baits. 
these things are, are going crazy. No guys, these things should be legal though. You're gonna have fun with these things, I'm telling you. Uh, so, there you go. Ah, oh, so I almost here at this spot. I don't know, make my way back from here. In the corner, I believe so there's a kitchen the cops. Yeah, I thought this would have oh, one followed me there. I thought this would have been the spot. Let's see. Oh, there we go. There he goes on straight away. Oh, this is a giant. We got very small hooks on you. Very small hooks on you. Dude. Oh yeah. Ow. There you go. Make sure I'm still recording. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get this out. Front hook, back hook system. And I'm like, yeah, out. I have to get my pliers again. Oh, there we go. He says you can't catch big bass at small lures. Look at the size of that lure comparison. Off you go, Dan. Other way. He doesn't want to go. He wants that food. He can bring it back. Unfortunately, the battery's gone dead on the GoPro. Uh, probably been here yeah, about 45 minutes or so. And what an incredible afternoon session with this little bait. Uh, guys, check it out. Uh, really incredible stuff.